Hey guys, Will Mitchell from Startup Bros here. Just wanted to show you how to actually install WordPress on a Bluehost account. So once you go through, you buy a domain name through Bluehost, like I just bought uh, willmitchellisawesome.com for this example video here. So I have willmitchellisawesome.com, but if I go to that, it's just this blank WordPress or this blank Bluehost site, right? It's not even a WordPress site. So how do we actually get WordPress on this domain name? How do I make willmitchellisawesome.com go to my website and not Bluehost? So really easy, guys, and this is why everyone loves Bluehost so much. Is it makes it just so easy to get this set up. All you're going to do is log into your Bluehost account. You're going to end up on your cPanel dashboard, which is this page right here, and just click Install WordPress. Once you go through and click that, it's going to take you through a really easy, what's called the uh, five-minute install process or something. It's just extremely easy to actually install WordPress onto your site. So I'm going to go ahead and click Continue Installation. Uh, we're going to you know, select the domain name that we want this for. I want this one, so willmitchellisawesome.com. And I want it to just be willmitchellisawesome.com is my WordPress site. I don't want to have to go to like willmitchellisawesome.com slash blog to reach my website. I just want that to be my website. So I'm just going to put that. Um, I don't really like these helpful plugins. You can use them if you want. But, uh, but now we're going to just click next and go through this process. So this name of the site a lot of the times is going to be the name of your domain name, right? And the name of your business. So mine's Will Mitchell is awesome. Uh, what's my admin username? So how am I going to log into the back end of this? This can be whatever you want, right? Maybe I'll make mine W Mitchell. Um, the email address, right? What is your email address? So mine is will at startupros.com. I'll put that. Uh, you put whatever yours is. And then your password, this is what you're going to use to actually log into WordPress and log into your website to make changes. So you can make this whatever you want and uh, just move forward from there. I would select uh, automatically create a new database, yes. Um, I understand that installing on the same domain, yes. And then I would also obviously agree to the terms and service and then go ahead and click next. This is now going to go through and install WordPress on our server. Um, in a moment here, and we're, we're just about done now, but in a moment here, we're going to be able to actually log into the back end of our WordPress site uh, because we'll actually have a WordPress site. So now if we go to willmitchellisawesome.com, it's still this page for now as this is going through and uh, completing the installation process. Uh, but in a moment here, this will turn into our very own WordPress site and we can then log into the admin section of that site and start making changes. So here we go. It is uh, getting getting all set here. Here's the WordPress logo. It says it's installed. So now I'm going to use the uh, the admin info I made back there to log into the back end of the website. And you can do this at wplogin.php or wp-admin like this right here. You can go to any one of those URLs. And as we can see now, uh, we just logged into the back end of our WordPress site. So whatever we want to do now, we can start doing it. We can go to the front end of our website. So here, here's our website, right? We have a website with pictures and blog posts and all sorts of stuff now. Well, now we can start poking through WordPress and making any changes we want, right? Uh, maybe I want to put up a new blog post right away. So here's my new my new blog post here. I'll go publish it. And as you can see, oh, that'll come up in a moment. But as you can see, we now have a website here and our new blog post is on the website. Some things are still, you know, not working properly because it's still being installed and um, that should finish in the next few minutes. But, uh, but that's basically how you set up a WordPress site, guys. Uh, the next step, obviously, is to customize this website. And that's not what this video is going to be about. 
But at this point, you'd want to go through and you know find a theme for your site, which is going to be the design of the website. Uh, you'd want to make your about page. You work on your home page, um, things like that. So we are just about good to go. We have a website up and running. Will Mitchell is awesome .com. It is working. It is pointing to our website, and now we have a website that is live on the internet, guys. We can go forward and start customizing this and start advertising it, marketing it, and sending people to this website. So this is a big milestone right here, and as you can see, you can get this done in under five minutes. All you need is a Bluehost account, and it is very simple to go forward and install WordPress on that hosting account. So that's how it is done. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, guys.